Well, good morning. It's great to be sharing another prophetic word with you today. God gave me a prophetic word for our local church yesterday, and I believe it's a word for you as well today. So that's what I want to share with you. Before I go into it, I just want to remind our regular people and friends on this channel that we are taking up a Passover offering as we do every year. It's the most significant time of giving to God that we do. We try and give our best offering to God at the start of the original ancient Hebrew year in Nisan at Passover, which is like the first, uh, the first major feast in God's calendar. And we, we give him the best that we can because we know is that we honour God, he honours us. And can I just say that we have seen God move in mighty, miraculous ways as we've done this over the years. Amazing testimonies. Even last year, God did something for us that we never saw coming and that we didn't expect to happen because we couldn't have seen how it could happen. And, and not only that, but so many of you who have joined with us over the years, the last few years, and you've joined in this Passover offering, you too have experienced miracles in your life. And we've heard of people getting homes where they couldn't get a home, relationships being restored and, and reconciliation within families. We've heard of healing, amazing healings in people's bodies, uh, new jobs and finances and so much more. So if you want to join us, and it's absolutely voluntary um, and it's not obligatory, but if you want to join us as we give to God, then I'll put a link below how you can join us in that and give an offering to God through this ministry. And we will pray with you all throughout this month. You know, people are giving from now. Uh, we're giving from now to the end of the month. Uh, not everyone can give a certain amount, you know, straight away, maybe do it in increments. But we are given throughout this month, believing for miracles. The word Nisan, which is the month, the Hebrew month that we're in, it actually comes from a word meaning miracles. And when we did this last year, we saw miracles, as I say, and we're believing for miracles again this year. So if you want to join us, you're more than welcome. And talking of springtime, which Nisan is in, God is saying two things. One, the winter is passing and the spring is coming. And secondly, God is doing a new thing. Amen. Listen, Song of Songs 2, 10 to 13, it says this, Arise, Jesus is saying, arise and come with me. See, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone, and flowers appear. The season of singing has come, the cooing of doves is heard again in the land. It's springtime. I don't know about you, but we've had quite a miserable winter. It's been cold, wet, windy and prolonged. Even up until recently, it's felt like winter has carried on and on and on with no let up. But we're believing that spring physically is here now. Even in Scotland, cold, wet, windy Scotland, spring is here, it's arrived. But not only that, but spiritually we have gone through um, I would say a winter period it's been hard it's been testing God's been refining us he's been taking us through some tests and trials but we believe he's bringing us out spring is coming new hope new life new expectation new opportunities new light new new um, ex experiences of his love is being released and I I believe it's a word for many of you that you've been in a winter period where things have ju just been lifeless. There's been no fruit. There's been no activity. It's just been cold and dormant. God is saying, come out, arise, come into the sunshine, come into the springtime of my love and of my presence and of my power, where you can hear the, the doves cooing again. The dove represents the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit wants to, to be manifest. He wants to be preeminent in all that we do in this new coming season and it's amazing because Passover is a springtime festival and it's actually known as the month of spring Nisan is known as the month of spring and the month of redemption and salvation and some believe it comes from the word to bud you know because it's all about springtime 
the barley ripening, coming forth. It's the harvest. That's why we give God an offering at Passover, because it's given him our first fruits of that ancient Hebrew year. Because we know if we do that, that he's going to bless the rest of the year. And he does because he's faithful to his word. And God is doing a new thing. And I really want to emphasize this to you today. God wants to do a new thing. Isaiah 42, 9, it says, see the former things have taken place and new things I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell them to you. Before they happen, God gives us a warning. Hey, new things are coming. New things are on their way. I believe this for the church, that new things are coming. A new spirit is coming in the church. A new a new wave of holiness, a new wave of of revival even uh, where people are just seeking God a new wave of prayer we're seeing it in our own lives and 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 church locally we're seeing we saw an unprecedented amount of people coming to the prayer meeting usually prayer meetings are the lowest attended um, meetings of any kind throughout the week and yet we have an incredible prayer meeting on a Tuesday locally just near where we are and and we had new people and and we had people coming in for the first time and it was powerful. And I really believe that God is up in that level of prayer. He's doing a new thing in the church and he's doing a new thing in the world. I believe that we're going to start seeing things we haven't seen before. My brother-in-law was even telling me about uh, a prophecy of new technology that would supersede the internet. It would make the internet look old and obsolete. And it's hard to get your head around when we're used to these kind of uh, ways of technology and doing things in the present but but I believe we're going to see start seeing new technology we're seeing it with AI we're seeing it with robotics we're seeing it with all the different advancements you know even going into space and I believe it's going to continue and increase right up until the time that Jesus comes back so watch for that but more importantly God's doing a new thing in you and in me, he's doing a new thing. He's not trying to patch up the old. <laughs> he's not trying to just, oh, here's the old thing. I'll just I'll just kind of dress it up a bit and give it back to you. God's saying, no, I'm doing a new thing. I want to give you a new body where you've been sick. I want to give you a new relationship where you've, you know, you've been in a, a season of conflict and turmoil and despair. I want to give you a new job where you've been unemployed or you've been in the wrong kind of job. I want to give you a new e experience of my love and my power and a new revelation from my word. I want to give you a new um, level of anointing that can counteract the days that we're living in, days of darkness, days of evil, days of error and, and lies. And I want to give you a new a new power that can counteract and come against that in the world today. Are you ready to receive that new thing? You know, sometimes we, we just want to take the old thing. We want to go back to what we're used to, what we used to do, what we used to know and what was easy. But God is saying, no, let go of the old. The former things have happened. They've taken place. Now look at the new thing that I'm doing. It's coming, guys. I prophesied earlier this year, right at the beginning of the year, that God would open doors, and he has been opening doors, so many doors, and and it's up to us to go through it, and again, God is saying to us prophetically, I'm doing a new thing. I believe even as we, we come into the latter half of this year, we're going to see God do a new thing, but the question is, are we going to be ready for it, and are we going to go through it? Are we going to embrace it and say, yes, Lord, use me. I'm available. I, I take on this new thing. I receive it and I choose to walk in it. And I pray today that you will do that, that you will take hold of what God's doing. I believe that God wants us to walk in a new authority, in a new power, in a new level of consecration and holiness so that we can have a new level of his glory. Amen. That's what we need in the earth today, a new level of his glory that just goes out across the earth, that shows the world that God is alive and he's on the throne and he is the king of all kings. Amen. Amen. Get ready, guys. Get ready for that new thing. Prepare yourself. Even today, I'm wearing some new clothes. I'm writing from a new notebook and obviously it's a new setting. I'm normally in the car. Uh, I hope you like the new setting. You know, it's just a, a little bit easier in the home. But God is saying, get ready.
for the new thing. Bless you guys. Thanks for being a part of this channel. And again, if you're joining with the Passover offering, I'll put a link below. Uh, thank you for all the support that comes in um, from those who do who do support us. Just to say that if you give through YouTube, YouTube takes quite a big uh, chunk of the money that you give. So I just want you to know that that um, some of your money, a big part of it is going to big tech, so to speak. So if you want to give uh, to this ministry in a different way, we use PayPal and uh, bank transfer and Stripe. And more of it will help us build the kingdom because that's what we're doing. We, you know, there's a lot of evangelism that's about to take place that we're involved in. Um, we're, we're involved in a local church and seeing people get saved and baptized. And, and it's amazing right now. And, uh, and we're doing so much more. So thank you for standing with us and partners in all that we're doing. Bless you. I hope this video has blessed you and I'll speak to you soon.